Hello, and welcome again to our, Windows 7 beginner to advanced video training series. If you have watched our previous Windows 7, desktop customization lessons, then you may now have, a good understanding of personalizing your Windows environment. Let's see, some more useful desktop customization options of Windows 7. In Windows, you can almost configure everything you see on your screen. This is what for Windows, advanced appearance settings are for. Windows 7 Desktop Customization, Chapter 1, Lesson 7, Part 2, Advanced Appearance Settings. Here is a complete list of advanced appearance settings, which we will configure in this lesson. Before, we start modifying advanced appearance settings, you must know that, many of advanced appearance settings will work on Windows Basic or, Windows Classic themes. So, it will be a good idea that you first change your current theme. To learn almost all the features of advanced appearance, I will advise you to choose, Windows Classic theme. Right click on your desktop, and choose Personalize. Before, we move further, I am choosing Windows Classic, as my current theme, for this lesson. Now, click on Windows Colors and, you will directly be in, Advanced Appearance Settings window. A new window will appear, and this area is a, Sample Preview window, which will display your modifications, right before you apply them. This is a nice thing that you can see that what you are going to change, and you can review your changes, right before you apply them. If you click there, drop down arrow, under the item menu, then you will see a list of available items, which you can configure here. Let's get started with our first item, which is 3D objects. Before, you reconfigure this item, you can see that many options are disabled for this item like, size, color to, font, font size, bold and italic. Every item has its own properties, and those feature will automatically be enabled for those items, which support them. Later, if you change the theme, then everything will be redefined according to the theme color scheme. It will be also a good idea that, you note down the properties of each item, so if something goes wrong, you can revert back to the original settings. In the end of this lesson, we will give you a complete list of items, with their default properties. Our first item in the list is 3D objects. Here you have two properties to configure. First one is, color 1 and second is, font color. The buttons and windows are considered as the 3D objects. So, here I am going to change the color 1, of this item to something else. You can choose any color you like. Next, I am going to change the font color as well. You can see the changes right before you apply them in preview window. I am also going to open another window, suppose, taskbar properties, so you can see the changes right after I apply them. You can move windows, by holding them from the title bar. Before we apply the changes, let me clarify you the difference between OK and Apply button. After making some changes, if you press OK button then the changes made by you will get applied but that particular window will get close, and if you want to modify something else from the same window, you have to repeat the process to come back here. This could be really annoying if you want to change the properties of many items at once. Whereas, if after making some changes, if you click the Apply button, then changes made by you will be applied instantly, but you will remain in the same window. So, you don't have to come back again. If you don't like the new settings that you have recently made then you can redefine the original settings, or just change the theme, and everything will be settled according to the theme. So, here I am again choosing the Windows Classic theme, and you can see that the changes made by me, have been revert. The next option in Advanced Appearance Settings is, Active Title Bar. As I have described earlier, you can see that, all the properties are now enabled for this item. So, what is Active Title Bar? As you can see, right now, I have two windows simultaneously open on my screen. First one is Windows Color and Appearance, and second is Taskbar and Start Menu Properties. As I am currently working in Windows Color and Appearance window, 
so this is my active window and the second task button start menu properties window is an inactive window. Now, we configure the properties of active title bar, like size, color 1, and color 2. Then we change font style, font size, and font color etc. As, I do modify the properties and apply them, you can see the changes right in the title bar. Do notice that, the color 1 and 2 have only been applied to active windows, whereas our inactive The next item that we are going to change is active window border. This item will define the size of the border, for your active window. As, I am increasing the size you can see the changes in the preview window. You can also change the border color, as suited to you. To check the settings, I open WordPad and restore the window. So you can see the border size and border color, which I had applied. I am again going to change the color of 3D objects. So you can notice the difference between 3D objects, and active window border colors. You can see the border color of WordPad and the inside area of WordPad, now have two different colors. The next item in our list is application background. And you have only one property to change. That is color 1. Application background color will display in those applications, which have some unused area, within their working area. Do note that, this setting may not apply to all the applications, you work in. After changing the color and applying the changes, you can see that, there is unused area in the word pad, but still the application background color have not been applied here. Whereas, if I open another program like Photoshop, you can see the application background color have been applied. Border padding is like, adding up some additional border to your window border. To give you an example, I'm opening WordPad, and restoring it, so you can fully understand the difference. As you can see that I am setting the value of, active window border to, 10 point, and applying the changes. You will notice that, there have nothing been changed in my current window border size, but if you see the border size of word pad, then you can compare the difference. Now, if I change the border padding to 5, and apply the changes, you can see that the border size of my current window have increased as well additional spaces have been added to WordPad window as well. You can increase or decrease the size of caption buttons in Windows. Caption buttons are those, which you see on top right corner of every window. The default size is 18, and you can adjust the size as required. For instance, as I increase the size and apply the changes, you can immediately notice the changes in the close button of my current window. If I open another program, say calculator, you can notice an increase in the size of caption buttons. Desktop item, has only one property to change, which is its color. To give you a brief overview, let's first have a wallpaper on our desktop. To change the wallpaper, I right click on desktop, and choose personalize. In personalize windows, I click on desktop background, and then from picture location drop down menu, I choose Windows Desktop Backgrounds. Here, I uncheck all the wallpapers, by clicking on Clear All button and then select a single wallpaper for my desktop. In the Picture Position drop-down menu, I choose Stretch, so, if the wallpaper is smaller than the size of screen resolution, then Window will stretch it to fit on entire screen. Now, if I choose my favorite color for desktop from Advanced Appearance Settings, and apply the changes, you will see no color on my desktop because the wallpaper is covering up the entire space. You will only see the desktop color, if you have no wallpaper, on your desktop, or wallpaper is being displayed in its actual size and, it is smaller than the screen resolution. Here, I again go to desktop background, and this time I choose picture position to be on center. As I save the changes, you can see that the area after the wallpaper have the same color that I have selected from the advanced appearance settings. 
You also have choice to choose some ready-made colors from the solid colors of desktop background window. Our next item under advance appearance is disabled item. As you can see in this notepad window that, some items are disabled. Now, you can have your favorite color for disabled items as well. Just choose a color from advance appearance settings and apply the changes. You will see the same color for disabled items, when you move your mouse pointer over them. Hyperlinks are the links that point to some other elements. When a use click on a hyperlink then it navigate the user to the predefined location. Just choose your favorite color for hyperlink and save the changes. Now, wherever you see a hyperlinks, they will have the same color, that you have decided. There are a lot more options, that you can configure through advanced appearance settings. I will teach you all of them, in our next part of the same lesson. Till then, keep sharing our videos and subscribe to our channel, for our upcoming videos. Coming videos.